Hey, Jonathan Wolk with Wolk 360, and this is a flex building project that uh, we're uh, almost complete. A flex building is basically a warehouse building that allows for some front office space. A lot of times you'll see technology companies using it, manufacturing companies, your plumbers, your electricians, where they'll need a little front office space, and then they'll have some warehouse in the back, place where they can bring their trucks in. And you'll see, we'll be able to go around back and see where the roll up doors and things like that'll be. These are tricky projects because they're hard to find space in which to do them. And so luckily this was part of a, a bigger industrial park, but we needed to bring this building design up to the new standards for the town. And so you'll see we've got a, a nice stucco and brick mix with some storefront doors, and then eventually we'll have some canopies over the entries. This is a really nice flex building because now it's up to the new standards. You'll see some of the older buildings are really just all the metal we'll go around and see the, the metal cladding. And so in the design, we had to meet the different percentages of the amount of glass you're allowed to have, the different types of, of brick, the different colors, and the amount of stucco that we're allowed to have, including onto the side. This is a pre-engineered middle building, very similar to what we would use in a self storage, very common now in uh, barn dominiums. And what you do is you get the pre-engineered middle building package and then you come along and you do the, the metal siding comes with the pre-engineered middle building package. Uh, and then the front, the stucco and the brick is then done by other subcontractors. And so we'll go around and we'll look in and really talk about how the different pieces are broken down. And a lot of this project is about coordinating those different pieces. So you've got the pre-engineered metal building package, which in this case included the, the structural frame the girts and then the metal siding and the roof. And then you've got to bring in your other subcontractors for your plumbing, electrical, mechanical, and then for your metal framing, stucco and brick. For the future uh, window that's going to come in here, be very similar to the storefront. The frames are, are arriving. This created a good transition from the, from the stucco EFIS system, exterior insulated finish system, which is a system of, of insulation and essentially a hard cut stucco, uh, then down to the brick. And then we craft the transition. So this is essentially where we go from the metal framing, what we call sort of the trades stucco masonry work to the metal building package. This was a critical part in dealing with the town. This 25 feet right here, the town was really adamant about making sure that as you're coming down the road, you see the, the brick, and this is basically a continuation of the front of the building, and then kind of the overall percentages of how much brick and stucco versus the metal that you see from the side of the building. This was a key element, as it was on the other side of the building. Plus, it sets up nicely on the corner for the end unit tenants. They get this little extra piece of glass, which in these buildings, you could wind up with sort of a showroom type user on the front. And so the extra glass actually makes a big difference by having that on the end units. So in these flex and industrial buildings, as much as the, the front looking really nice and clean and presentable is important, the money really happens back here, right? This is where the trucks come in. This is where the deliveries happen. This is where whatever they're manufacturing comes out. So key elements back here is maneuverability, being able to get around the site easy, easy access to the garage doors or the loading dock, and then access to inside. And so all the maneuverability and all that is really what's a key component in working out on the site work and the building design and the building placement. The other key thing is making sure you've got, you know, good large doors. So depending on the size of the building that you're doing, whether it's a, a bread truck or, you know, something more the size of a semi is doing a delivery, this becomes a critical piece. One of the things we're evaluating here is, is whether we do a roll-up door or a coiling door so that you maintain your clear heights in the, inside the building. One of the, the issues that we've coordinated with on the, on the site work is you've got your man door and your garage door, then your garage door, your man door. So each one of these is essentially established as a bay. Coordinating between the man door height and the garage door, because the garage door, you always want to have a little bit of a dip and then you've got your metal siding and your flashing and all that. These connections here becomes a real tricky coordination spot. In this case, we've had to go back and rework some, some things to, to get this to clean up.
When doing an industrial building, the key consideration is your clear height. In this building, we wanted to get as clear height as we could get within the requirements for the industrial park, but also within the parameters of the, the pre-engineered metal building package. And so in the, you see the major uh, structural frame on a repetitive bay. And so each one of these is a bay that could be leased out by a tenant, or you could put together two or three of them and you know, a tenant either takes this much, this much, or that much. Essentially in this construction, you have your, your frame, and then you have these horizontal members, which are the girts. And the girts are what hold on the, the metal siding. Then when you get to the front, so now if you look over here, that is the backside of where we have the brick and stucco. So we transition to light gauge metal framing on that side of the building where the, where the brick and stucco are. So this again, is this is all part of the metal building package. The roof is part of the metal building package. You have similar structure in the roof and then it's uh, insulated. On the slab, we did this uh, so that you've got maximum flexibility depending on what kind of user you get inside. You could wind up with a, a lab user that needs a lot of plumbing and, and stuff in the ground. You could wind up with a heavy industrial user that needs a thicker, denser slab. So what we did is what's called a ribbon slab around the perimeter and then left the inside open so that we've got maximum flexibility depending on the incoming tenant. Then you see we've got the stub ups for the, for the different plumbing lines. And that's typically you'd have like a unisex restroom in, in each one of these. And so you've got a plumbing line running through there where that would naturally happen. But that's why we leave this open. So if we've got to rerun, you know, plumbing, you know, throughout, you're not cutting up slab that you just poured in. So this gives you a lot of flexibility in the shell stage for your future tenants. Then you can see we've got our plumbing and sprinkler lines overhead. We've got our sprinkler riser room and then some temporary heat up, up here just to condition the space to keep the sprinkler lines of plumbing from freezing temporarily while we're waiting on tenants. We're in the process of coming in to start evaluating some tenant spaces. We're at a great point in the marketing to bring tenants through and start looking at what's gonna be the end user here, whether we do the roll up, the coiling, glass doors, all those things are what we're starting to evaluate. If you're doing a barn dominium and you buy a metal building package, which typically come in like, you know, 60 by 80s or, you know, uh, 100 by 50s, they're, they're all different types of packages. When you buy that metal building package, this is essentially what you're purchasing. There's a lot to consider when you're buying the package. Some include the roof, some include a parapet. There's a lot of different pieces that you've got to be careful to make sure is included in the package. No two packages are the same. That's really the key part of understanding what you get. And then also with the metal building package is the, the actual erection. Who's, who's putting it together? and what all are they putting together and how far are they taking it. We can help coordinate that. We design to that and we work with the different manufacturers so that we're, we're making sure that what they're delivering is also what, what they're installing. Typically, we've got to get the slab in place. We need their bolt patterns. This is always one of the biggest coordination items are these bolts um, because that's all set with the concrete. And then, you know, these things show up pre-drilled making sure that you've got those templated correctly is a, is a key coordination item. If you're doing a self storage project, even though those kind of set up very differently, they're pretty much the same thing. You don't, might not have, you know, the, the height and the superstructure that you need here, but a self storage building package is very similar. All the same types of coordination that we were talking about, the concrete slab, the bolt patterns, the plumbing, the mechanical, the electrical, that is all what is, is key to make sure that it's coordinated and that what package you're getting ties into what you're building and who's putting it together. Those are, those are the key pieces on these projects is coordinating between the pre-engineered middle building supplier, the team that's gonna then erect it, and then what are the other subcontractors that you need to have and other trades that you need to get in. And that's just at the front end. Then you get into the, to the tenant fit up and tenant design part. Then you got a whole nother set of uh, complexities there. So working through the design on this project, we had a lot of coordination with the town, a lot of coordination with the owner. We've talked about the metal building package. We really uh, like doing these kinds of projects. Uh, they're uh, becoming more and more popular, especially with the industrial and flex building needs. 
Let us know what we can do to help you. We've worked through the, the town process, not just the building permits in this case, but we also had to work through the site plan approvals, specifically on the elevations. And that's why we really came up with a beautiful, nice looking flex building project here and look forward to catching up with you on the next one and when this project's done.